Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Stencil Saturday video. Um, this week I'm going to show you kind of a twofer design. So I've been playing around a bit with my um, mod rounded squares rulers and you may have seen a video I posted um, a while back where I used it to do continuous curve. Um, but then I it was played a little bit more with that idea to see how else I could use it. And what I realized is that I can, you know, in the previous one I did, I just let a little bit hang over here. But I found that works very cool if you stitch the whole thing, actually half of the rounded square. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And to, in order to do that, I've marked my um, crossed square stencil. We don't necessarily need these crosses, but it's an easy way for me to get a three inch grid. Um, so we're just going to use it as a guide. In this case, the squares. So I'm going to go ahead and get started right up here in the corner. And I kind of gonna have to fight my leader here because I'm too close to the pins with the ruler but um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and line up and I'm just going to stitch this right here to travel and I have my hopping foot up against it so this first line that you see is where it's actually going to stitch so it's pretty easy to line up so I'm just going to go around here you see it puts me right on that line so now I want to do it just like you would continuous curve. So I'm going to go this way, down, back up, over, and then work my way back across the bottom. And what it does is it gives you these awesome kind of little leaves. So same thing. I'm just going to line it up. The lines are here so that I'm going to stitch half of that. I'm just going to go up the other side. And then the top again. Oh. Should have planned better and not have my leader in the way there and down two sides here and you can start to see these little leaves taking shape I really like those kind they're kind of like remind me of like some little modern leaves Now we're going to work our way back across the bottom. And like up here, I generally, just in case I somewhere along the line move the ruler a little, you know, not in the right place, you can just kind of go slow to make sure I'm kind of landing in the right place and kind of adjust the ruler if I need to. So now you can see these cute little leaves and I you know the other thing is that another option might be as you come around here to kind of pause right here and you could put like a little um, spine in each of those before you finish going around that would be neat too so I'm just gonna go slow until I know that yeah that looks pretty good one and I think I just think these are adorable I mean they're so, so cute 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch the rest of these for you. Okay, now that I've finished stitching those, let's have a look here. Let's see how cute it is. I just love this, I really do. I mean, I, I don't know, I just really love it. And so that what ends up happening is that these little leaf shapes are um, one and a half inches. It would make a great border. You know, because ideally you can um, have a stencil or you could mark out lines to divide up a border that you could make this work. Um, yeah, I really like this one. So then after I had stitched this, it kind of got me thinking. So I probably can do that same thing um, with the point of the rounded diamonds ruler. So I have all of these markings on here that are going to, you know, allow you to line up for different things. And the first time I started and was stitching, doing the same idea with this ruler, uh, I got a little confused because I knew which lines I wanted to use. And, but then I was not using the right ones halfway through. Um, so I tried it again. And what I realized is that it, for me, it's just much easier. And what I used, it's this stuff. Um, it's called glow line tape. Kind of get whatever. You can pick whatever color you want. Um, and I just cut a piece. You could even use, I mean, if you have painter's tape, that will work too. Um, I just put a piece because I know that this lines up here. So it just made it easier. I don't have to think too much at, and look at a lot of markings. I could just look for the tape and know that that's where it's going to be. So let me do this one real quick as well because it kind of grew a little bit more even after this second idea. So I'm just going to work. This is going to work the exact same way. I'm just going to work like continuous curve. I'm going to go over down, back up, over, and then at the end of the row, I'll work my way back across the bottoms here. And again, I'm going to be fighting this leader, but, so what I mean is that I can see that this line, this needs lined up here, and the other tape needs lined up on that side, so that I know I'll be in the same place every time. These top ones are probably going to be a little funny, because I'm fighting the leader here. So now I'm going to go this way. And again, I mean, I know I can just line that line and this line up and kind of eyeballing that quarter inch where I'm going to hit at the point, turn it, same thing, lining up here and here, kind of eyeballing. I'm too close here. And back up. It's the same process as the other one. Yeah. Again, line up, line up here. It's 
stitch. At least this way isn't so hard. Ah, the last of these top ones. They're all wobbly. This last side, I can just look at my tape. I'm ready to go. And now we're going to work our way back across the bottom here. And I really like this one too. I'm going to get like these little X or star shapes. And then I'm going to continue on with this. So I'm just going to, I'll go ahead and stitch the bottom of this so you can see what it looks like done. Okay, so now that those ones are done, look at that one. And so that's another option. Same idea, just a different, little bit different look. And I like this one as well. I mean, you kind of get these little diamond shapes, but you also get these little kind of starburst shapes. And then, so I had stitched both of these and you know, the more I looked at them and I'm trying to think, what else could I do? I thought, wait a minute, because these are fairly open. You know, it would work great for, you know, if maybe you had a block and you needed to fill it with something. This would be great in a block, either one of these. Um, they're a little more open or in a border. But then I thought, well, what if I needed it to be more quilting, a little more dense? Um and then I thought, wait a minute, what would happen if I did this one on top of this one? So it actually comes out pretty cool. So uh, let me show you that real quick. And so you're going to, obviously, you know, at this point, how you do it, what you line up. I get my bobbin thread here. There it is. Um... So we're just going to do the same thing, the little rounded diamonds. We're going to stitch them over top of this. And again, I'll apologize for this wobbly top row because my thing is in the way here. But So we're just going to line, you know, everything's the same. You're going to line up the same way. We're just going to stitch one over top of the other. It really, it's pretty cool. And easy enough because now you can use what you stitched as your guide. the same as you did the first um, when you stitched this by itself. And then back across the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll stitch the rest of these real quick.
Okay, so that's the end of that one over top of this one. Somehow I stitched over my thread. Let me get rid of all of these threads. There we go. So now let's take a look at this. And I think, you know, it just changes it up. It really makes it such a cool thing. You know, you you see the original ones, the leaves. They now have a little kind of starburst through them. It changed up this a little bit. I mean, I think it's just really cool how easy that was. You know, you do one and then just go back and do the other one. I mean, it is twice the quilting, obviously, but, you know, sometimes it's worth that to get the effect. So let me turn this light off too. Maybe we can uh, see it a little bit better, the texture of it. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, so I hope you guys um, enjoyed these ideas and that you might give them a try and I will see you next time. Bye.